In this lesson, we're going to work with looping in JavaScript. Let's take a quick look at, at the HTML file. It's very, very simple. We have a body tag, we have a header using loops for loop, and we have the ID for next. And we have the while loop header, and we have the ID while. The IDs are what we need to use to target this area to program to it. Let's look at the JavaScript. Again, I'm working in Dreamweaver because I find it very easy to test here. I can just switch between my design view where you can see this is what's actually coded in there without the JavaScript. And when we go to live view, you see the JavaScript actually working. And this is all being done in an onload function. I've got two different variables, one named display, the other named display2, because I don't want to reset them in the for or while statements, I need two separate variables because they're going to be in scope for the entire onload function. So variable display is used in our for loop and this is what encompasses our for loop. You need to use curly brackets unless it's just one line, but I strongly recommend curly brackets to encase your for loop wherever you use one. So the basic difference on using a for loop or using a while loop is typically that for a for loop you know how many times you want something to execute. Usually with a while loop you can either wait for user interaction to have them type in zero or n to let you know that's done but you're gonna in a while loop you will keep going until some condition changes, something that's not true. Now you can use them both with a counter, but typically your for statement is used with a counter and you know how many times you want to do something. So we have this statement here. We're first initializing a variable i, which represents integer, equal to zero. And then we're going to check if i is less than 10 and we'll increment i++. plus plus. So what this is going to do is it's going to go from zero to 10 counting of course it won't actually display 10 because once we are equal to 10 it breaks, it stops. So you get to see it counting 0 to 9. We're simply going to have our display statement equal itself plus now that we're writing to the document we're not using Java syntax or JavaScript syntax for a new line we actually have to put in the HTML for a new line. So I'm putting in a break statement plus i which is our variable here and then we will use our document get element by ID, our for next document, and we'll display and it equals display, which is our variable, and it'll display on screen. So it'll start going through the loop. Initially it's zero. We have it set the display and then it increments and we'll keep doing that zero through ten. For our while loop, we're having Again, outside of the while loop, I've set a variable named counter, and we've set it to 10. Now, this is something that we could have some sort of user interaction or some other event telling it to change. Here, we are simply incrementing it because that's an easy way for me to demonstrate that it will stop. And it's basically the same code, display2 equals display2 plus a break statement plus counter. That's my variable here. And I'm just doing counter minus minus, so it will actually count down because it's going to keep going while counter is greater than zero so when it equals zero we stop so it counts from 10 down to 1. So this is the for statement and the while statement which are very handy if you want to program something that's going to repeat several times. Mm -hmm.